Hey everyone, I want to welcome you to Art a la Carte. My name is Valerie and I'm super excited about this collaboration video that I'm doing with Catvok. Now for those of you who follow either Catvok or I, you might already have known about this collaboration video. We actually made an announcement a few weeks ago um, that we were going to be doing a collaboration together and we needed your help. So what happened is we chose a generalized theme. We were going to do mermaids because I love drawing mermaids and we let you guys choose the theme of the mermaid. So if you're from Catvox channel or voted on Catvox video, the winning vote is what I am creating. And if you voted on my channel, then you will definitely want to go over to Catvox channel and see which vote won and see what she created. Now, if you wait to the very end of this video, I'm going to show you a sneak peek that she sent me. Oh, it is amazing, but you'll definitely want to watch the whole video on her channel. Well, for those of you who may not have already guessed from the thumbnail, I got the Dark Mermaid. And I have to tell you that there was a lot of things or options that I could have gone with with this theme. Um, and th that was fun and challenging at the same time because there were so many things that I could do. I could make kind of a creepy mermaid or dark as an evil or I could have um, a dark palette or you know, just lots of interpretations for the word dark. So I started doing some research of different undersea things, different kinds of fish, different kinds of environments under the oceans to kind of give myself some inspiration. And I came up with an idea of really physically doing it dark. Like when you go down to the very deep parts of the ocean and you see those kind of glowing fish like the angler fish and just the really beautiful translucent jellyfish and there's just these creatures that glow down there. And I thought that would be so cool to kind of create a mermaid who is really, who lives in this deepest, darkest ocean who never sees light and that kind of has that glowing aspect about her. But then to actually get the idea out of my head and put it onto paper is an entirely different thing. And this piece of artwork was a journey, a huge journey. And I'll be sharing the definite highs and lows with you in this video. So the first thing I want to share with you is a sketch that this was actually a sketch I did while I was on jury duty. And this was the inspiration for the actual composition of the piece. I spent so much time just inking this in. It was ridiculous. And once I got it inked in, I really was scared to take it the next step because literally this took me eight hours to ink in and I didn't want to ruin it. So I decided to do something, play it safe and just begin to put in the background. So I went and grabbed some Indian ink and I chose an Indian ink that I hadn't used this brand before. And that is a first big no-no. Never use an art product that you do not know exactly what it's going to do. The Indian ink that I have used in the past uh, once it dries, it sets, and there's no moving it. Not with this stuff. It touches anything, and it just re indian inkifies. Not only that, but while I was painting the outline bordered, I flicked my paintbrush, and this fine mist of almost invisible drops of ink went all over my painting. And I thought, Ugh! but they're so tiny that you wouldn't notice. And until I began to put my Copic markers over top of them, and they began to smear. I almost started crying when this happened. She looked like she had leprosy or something. And the more I tried to to lighten them up, the just the smearier and globbier they looked. And I mean, they were just right in the middle of her face. Oh, I was so sad I didn't want to give up because I love this piece. So here is my advice for you guys. If you make a mistake on your picture, don't give up on it right away. You may think, there's a dot right in the middle of her nose. What am I going to do with that? You can work with it. I went to the part of the picture that I was most excited about, which is her eyes, and I just made them as beautiful as I could. I wanted her eyes to give me hope to finish this picture. And believe me, anytime you see me going back to work on her eyes was because I was losing hope in this picture, and I had to get back to those eyes to make myself push through. You can fix just about anything. So... I did. I kept I kept going. <laughs> and the picture just began to blossom. And I do not show you all of the creation of this process. Literally, this took me over 52 hours, seriously, of work. I sat from morning till evening for three days working on this piece, um, just getting up long enough to stretch my legs, eat something, and then come back and work. <laughs> so 
a lot of work went into this. Uh, later on in the video, you'll see how I kind of fixed the problem that I have with the smudges on her face. I decided to go ahead and give her a pattern to her face. If I can't get rid of the dots, I'll cover the dots up with more dots. So you'll kind of see me giving her this kind of pattern. And it actually turned out really, really cool. As you continue to watch the creation of this piece, let me go ahead and share a little bit with you guys about my channel and what I do here. On this channel, I create art videos, tutorial videos, speed drawing videos, challenge videos, creative process videos, and whatever kind of other videos I sometimes throw out there. I try to keep them all art related, but sometimes, you know, I throw the random odd vlog in just for fun. I've been seriously pursuing art for the last 25 years, but I have been drawing since I was three, so that it was more than 25 years, actually going on about 35 years, and I love drawing. I've taken a few classes, but really have never had any formal training, just self-taught, watching other artists create and trying to emulate that. And my philosophy is that anyone who really wants to learn how to draw can draw. That there's, it's not like just this born gift that you have that either you can draw or you can't draw. I believe if you put enough effort, work, and practice into learning that you can learn how to draw. And so my goal in these videos is to encourage people to be creative, to pick up a paintbrush or a pencil or a marker or whatever it is you're interested in and try to create something. And not to be afraid of failing or messing up because that's part of the learning process and that's how we get better as an artist. So if you're brand new to this channel and you've always wanted to draw or maybe you've been drawing for years now and you enjoy watching other artists create, I'm so excited to have you. Please click that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future videos. I post three videos each week. And if you wanna make sure that you never miss a video, hit that notification button and they'll send you notifications, I think to your cell phone, um, to let you know every time I upload a new video. Because sometimes they sneak through and YouTube just doesn't tell you. So if you wanna make sure that you don't miss out, hit that notification button. For those of you who do not know who Catwalk is, I really highly encourage you to go and check out her channel. I am mesmerized by her artwork. She has such a creative way of taking something ordinary and making it extraordinary. I love her artwork and I love how she creates. She's one of those artists that she can do any kind of video and I'll just sit down and just watch video after video after video. Sometimes when I'm creating pieces, I can't really watch a movie because then I end up watching the movie, but I can just kind of have something else going on in the background and I will put her videos on and kind of watch them as I create. It just inspires me to want to be artistic and to create pieces. So as I'm really excited for you guys to check out her channel, I feel that she will just be such an inspiration to you guys as well. And I'm so happy that she agreed to do this collaboration video with me. It has been a super fun challenge and definitely a challenge at that. So getting back to the picture that I'm creating here, a lot of you guys ask what kind of equipment or tools do I use to create my pieces? So let me briefly go through some of the things that I use. So for the paper, I'm using a Strathmore mixed media. The size is an 11 by 14 inch. For the, for the initial sketch in, I used a Cool Erase color pencil and did the inking in with a gray, with a gray Copic multi-liner. The base color I used was my Copic markers, and then I added highlights with color pencils and a little bit of a white gel pen. For the outside black border, I used an Indian ink, but again, I recommend that you test out the Indian ink with your other mediums on a scratch piece of paper just to see what they're going to do. So for the black areas in between her hair-like tentacles, I used a Prismacolor brush pen and that gave me a really nice deep color that still added a little bit of a glow. To create the glow around different things, I used a lighter color color pencil and just kind of went through and pushed in the colors there. There was, again, a lot of detail with this. And if you'd like to see some more detailed, up-close shots of this piece, I do have it for sale on my Etsy shop. And you can definitely take a peek at the more up-close photos there. Or if you'd like to take it home, you can get a really close-up look. Um, and I am hoping in the next couple months to be able to have some prints made of this. So if you can't afford the original, don't worry. I believe prints will be made of that soon. So before I show you the final piece, let me once again remind you to jump over and check out Cat Fox's channel. If you're not subscribed to her channel, please do that. And when you do, leave a comment in her video letting you know that it came from Art a la carte. If you guys came over from Cat Fox's channel, let me know. Say Cat Fox sent me in the comment section below. I'd love to find out who our new subscribers or visitors are. 
And here is the final piece. I love it. I'm probably going to end up framing it and hanging it in my studio until it's sent off to its new owners, whoever they may be. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see others, check out my video archives for all sorts of different types of videos. And as always, God bless you guys, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.